Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about Broad Street Bastard by Chad Lutsky. Let me get my fingers out of the way. Uh, just up front, right off the bat, me and Chad are really good friends. In fact, we are currently collaborating on a book together uh, called Planet Caravan. We've been doing a live stream. We are off this week, but next week we'll be getting jumping right back into it. And you guys will have 31 days of Halloween on top of the daily streams with Chad. We are off Wednesdays and Sundays. And also, if you care about video games at all, I'm over on Twitch. Uh, I start every day about three o'clock and go to about six or seven. If you're interested in games, uh, also I'll be streaming some games for 31 days of Halloween, only horror content, and it'll be game short enough to where you can view the entire game in one sitting. Games like Blood Wash, maybe a Resident Evil 4 speed run, that kind of thing. But anyways, so that's what we'll be doing every Saturday. Every Sunday will be Sunday Cinema, where we'll be watching a movie together. Uh, I will not be showing the movie, but I will be, I, I will be commenting on the vid the movie as it's playing out. Um, but anyways, let's get into the review. Uh, I have given Chad less than favorable reviews in the past. Uh, I think I didn't uh, overly fanboy for Cannibal Creator or The Neon Owl. They're both good books. They're just not what I was ex not really expecting, but what I expect out of out of Chad. So um, I say that up front because when I do come across something that I think is exceptional, I want you guys to know that these are my real unbiased feelings about this author and his work. Broad Street Bastard is one of my now one of my favorites up there with uh, uh, Slow Burn on Riverside, up there with Skull Skull Faced Boy, up there with uh, Wallflower. This this one this one's really good. Um, I'd also need to tell you that this is he's been writing these books in reverse, so every s subsequent book in the series with Jex J E X as the main character takes place before the book that came out before it it's a little bit odd but i find it cool as shit and it's really cool to keep going back in time and finding out where jex came from and everything that he's been through this one and the best way that i can i can describe this book is it's horny as fuck don't get it wrong this is definitely a book with a, a lot of sexual content uh most of it is uh, there for comedic value uh, I thought one scene in particular with a, trying not to do any spoilers here, uh, in fact I had to reshoot this video because I gave a minor spoiler about the book in the original one, but the scene with the wet couch had me in tears. I was laughing so hard about it. Now I thought one thing happened and Chad didn't mean for that thing to be read into it, but it's funny that either way the scene works, whether you read too much into it or whether you don't and just accept it for what's on the page. I thought it was absolutely brilliant, even if, even if, even if it wasn't intentional. I love art that does that, where people can find their own humor, their own action, their own drama and everything under, you know, in the subtext. I love stuff like that. Um, there is another element of this book that I want to talk about, but Chad has been completely quiet about it. He didn't say anything to me. It's definitely not in the description. There is not really a twist, but there's more to this story than he would actually lead you to believe at the beginning. And the reason why I say that is um, it says something along these lines in somewhere in the book. Okay. Uh, let's see here. One more thing. We've forgotten that sometimes stories are just about the journey. This is one of those stories. There is more to the plot than just the journey. Let me, let me just let me just say that. I loved every minute of this book. Chad is not someone in my mind that can do no wrong. There have been things that I have criticized in the past, but this one is fucking perfect. I don't know how else to put it. I'm very impressed with this book. I had a lot of fun. It took me a long time to read it. Not because it was bad, but because I literally could not find the time to read. I've been doing the 31 Days of Halloween, trying to build up the Twitch channel. By the way, thank you for all your support over there. Uh, I've reached affiliate, so now it's all downhill from there. Um, and I, the whole reason I made the Twitch thing was just because I want, I've always wanted to play games. I've always wanted to be a streamer. Um, but at the same time, it's a it's a, re a new revenue source for me. So I'm trying to branch off, you know, divert, diversify my bonds, as it were, and uh, try to be some everywhere. 
while also staying off of social media. It's It's been a journey, but I appreciate everybody supporting me. Um, I'm looking forward to 31 Days of Halloween. We will be starting on Sunday, and on Sunday we will be watching a movie I have not yet picked. Uh, but it'll be a horror movie, of course, probably something Halloween-themed. Uh, I hope to see you guys there. It starts at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. But yeah, that's all the time I have for you today. Definitely go out. There's a link down there in the doobly-doo to the book. Go out and pick this one up. Read it. Enjoy it. And grab everything else in the series and everything else that Chad has written. Because even the stuff that isn't fantastic is still a really damn good read. But until next time, I have been E. You've been you. This has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.